Hey there Dev Squad, Vertus here and today we are celebrating our recent move into the Vertus production space with a question and answer session. So a couple of days ago I did ask my social media for some questions for this Q&A and today I'm going to be going over our best picks. I'd also like to take this moment to thank everyone that has supported the Vertus Learning Hub and without you guys I would not be able to move into this production space to further the Vertus Learning Hub cause. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the very first question. While I'm here, I also wanted to mention that we have recently released the Dev Squad Store, an online store for awesome game development related t-shirts, such as the one that I'm wearing at the moment. Code Monkey, with many more like it, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Every single purchase goes towards supporting the community Virtus Learning Hub and producing these awesome tutorials. So the very first question that I actually got was, have you made any video games yourself? And a matter of fact, I haven't actually published any games that have been released just yet. I've worked on a couple of smaller projects, however myself and a team that I have built are actually working on a video game with the name Embervane, which is set to be a new multiplayer experience. So to answer the question, no I haven't got anything that you can play just yet, but make sure you check out my devlog series for this game to see exactly what myself and the team are working on at Verta Studios. So the next question that I've got is how do you come up with video game ideas? And honestly, it's not an easy question to answer. Now, what I mean by that is most people with video game ideas, they don't just suddenly come up to them or they try and force themselves to come up with it. Usually it'll just come into your mind when you're doing something creative. Now, generally the way that I find myself coming up with video game ideas is just playing other video games, watching movies and stuff like that and ideas will just come to you. Now, if you want to really push it, then what you can do is just get yourself a piece of pen and paper just start drawing stuff out just draw whatever it is that comes to your mind and by doing that you're going to be getting those creative juices flowing and next thing you know you are going to be on those first steps to coming up with a video game idea now bear in mind though creating that video game taking it from a concept to an actual game is a whole different level so make sure you check out some of the tutorials and you can learn how to do just that we've got loads and loads of awesome stuff Okay, so another question that I've got here is, how do you ensure a productive programming session? Now, it's very easy as a game developer or anyone in the creative industry to get distracted and start working on something else instead. Either that or you're going to start programming things that you don't necessarily need. So the best thing that I do is make yourself a plan before any work session so you know exactly what you're going to create. So if you're programming something for your game or a section of your game, program that and break it down into different elements and then just build on it from there. And when it comes to planning before you do any work, there is one really awesome phrase that I do want to mention. And that is, if you don't plan, you plan to fail. So make sure in any industry that you're working in, whether it be game development or alike, make sure you do your planning and that is going to allow you to have the most productive, smooth process as possible. So the next question that I've got here is, how is the new studio? And actually, I'm really excited to show it off. The new studio is something that we've just moved into and it's a production space for myself to record tutorials and also in the future to bring other people into the company working on these tutorials. The production space does actually feature a couple of workstations, a hot shooting area with a green screen or a black screen. We have all kinds of lighting and good stuff. You can actually expect to see a office tour in a couple of weeks showing you what we've done with it and also I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone for making this possible and if you want to see more stuff on the channel not just about our production space but tutorials in general definitely go ahead and check us out on Patreon as it was our awesome Patreons that did make all of this possible but like I said stay tuned for that office tour in a couple of weeks. Now with this office, in terms of what we're going to be able to do with it, we are going to be able to make better quality tutorials. Because first and foremost, we have got proper audio equipment, proper lighting equipment, and we've also got a little bit of freedom to do what it is that we do. So another question that I've got here is, what is the best piece of advice that you can give to a young developer? Now when it comes to young developers, I think they mean those that are just starting out in the industry, and the best piece of 
advice I can give is take your time and figure out exactly what it is that you enjoy doing in game development. Once you've done that, start working on some projects. Make sure though, you do start small because most people come into this industry thinking they're going to be making the very next Call of Duty or Skyrim or anything like that. You need to be realistic as some of these games are actually made by over hundreds and hundreds of people. So having said that, create something small and realistic and just take one challenge at a time. Because with game development, there is a very large learning curve. So having said that, take one step at a time, but everything is out there for you to get into the game development industry. In terms of actually learning game development, I definitely advise you check out all of the online documentation for the various pieces of software. You can find a lot of stuff on Unreal Engine and 3D modeling on this channel, but there is lots out there don't give up hope, just get yourself into your desk, get yourself programming, get yourself drawing or whatever it is that you want to do. Just dive in, dig deep and just stay motivated. That is the key because everything is available to you. Just work, 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 have fun while you're doing it and you'll be creating video games in no time. So this next question is something which is incredibly important, which is how do you choose a role in the video games industry? Now when it comes to creating video games, there is lots and lots of different roles available, such as programmer, level designer, 3D modeler, animator, UX design and more. There is loads and loads of roles. So how can you choose one? Now for those of you that are just getting into the industry, the best piece of advice I can give you on that is trying out the different roles and think about exactly what it is that you enjoy because some people they will find that programming is not for them whereas some people might find that the creative side of things is a little bit better so you might want to be a concept artist or a 3d modeler just try all of the different roles in the industry just try learning a little bit and find which one is easiest for you to learn and which one is going to be the most enjoyable because at the end of the day when it comes to careers especially in the game development industry success is being happy with what you do and the people that get to the top of the industry are those that really enjoy doing what it is that they do so take your time to find out doing what it is is that you enjoy and then just get on that grind and start creating. So the next question that I've got is a question that is aimed at me as opposed to game development, but I'm more than happy to answer it. So this question is, where do you plan on taking the Virtus Learning Hub? And that is an incredibly good question. I have got a whole bunch of stuff planned for the Virtus Learning Hub. And essentially what I want to do with this is turn Virtus Learning Hub into the one stop shop for all aspiring game developers. I'm currently working with instructor partners to bring more courses to Virtus Learning Hub and the plan is to offer concept art tutorials, animation tutorials, 3D modeling tutorials, Unreal Engine tutorials, absolutely everything that someone that needs to learn game development is going to need. So if you want to learn any of those subjects you hop on and you do what you do. But the most important thing is if you want to make a video game from scratch we are aiming to have everything covered for doing just that. Now, now at the moment we've currently got a load of stuff in 3D modeling, level design and programming but we are currently branching out, it's going to take a little bit of time but we are getting there. But I'm really excited about the future of Virtus Learning Hub and I strongly believe that you guys should be really super excited as well. So this next question that I've got is something that is definitely interesting. This question is, how do you build a portfolio as a video games developer? And that's a really good question because to be able to get a job in the industry, you need to have a portfolio. And a portfolio is essentially just you showcasing your best work to show off your skills. So having said that, if you're in the creative industry, that is very, very easy. You just put up the renders or the drawings that you've made and all of that good stuff. And you want to put stuff up there that is very, very high quality. You don't want to put the work in progress up there. You want to show off the best bits which show what you can really do. And there's all kinds of different websites where you can do just that. For example, with 3D modelers, you've got ArtStation and you can do the same thing if you are a concept artist as well. Now, this question in particular is actually aimed at programmers and programmers, because it's all code, they think, huh, 
how do I show that off? So when it comes to programming, what you want to do, my best piece of advice that I can give you on building a portfolio is release some projects up there on GitHub. But the main thing is people want to see stuff that you've programmed, whether it be web apps or video games that you've worked on. You want to break down the different mechanics that you've made, showcase them in a video, put them onto a blog or a website and just say, these are the decisions that I've made. This is how I did it. And this is what I learned. So essentially you want to be breaking down those different pieces, but you want to create something that you can show, whether that be a video or a blog or something. There is lots and lots of ways out there. It's definitely worth keeping all of that in mind. So the next question, what is the first steps on creating a video game? Those first steps are very, very crucial. A lot of people do jump into game development and like I said, they think they're going to make the next Call of Duty or the next Skyrim or something like that. That's not how it works. Instead, like I said, create something small and realistic. But when it comes to actually creating the game, there is an entire process that you need to go through. So first things first, you want to flesh out your game ideas. You want to know exactly exactly what it is that you're going to be developing. And typically, you're going to be doing this in something called a game design document. And we actually have a little bit of detail about game design documents over on our website. But essentially, it's a document which lists every single detail of how the game is going to work. And once you've got that, what you're then going to move on to doing is creating your prototype inside of a game engine. And typically, you want to start off with the programming element first. So get all of the code and all the functionality working, and then you move on to the 3D art. But before you do that 3D art, you have got to do concept art, which is essentially just where you go in and you draw out your game. So that's going to be drawing out different characters, drawing out different environments. And all of this has got to go into an art style guide. Now, in terms of the process of creating a video game, it is very long winded. There is a lot to it and it's not something that I can really cover in a short Q&A. So if you want me to make a video talking about the entire process of creating your very first video game, going through art style guides, game design documents and all of that, let me know in the comment section down below. So that is every single question that I have got for now. We have answered some really awesome questions. So if you want to see us develop Virtus Learning Hub and turn it into that one stop shop for developers, definitely go ahead and check us out on Patreon to earn some awesome rewards. But most importantly, you are going to benefit from more tutorials at a higher quality and all of that good stuff. Anyway, guys, that is absolutely everything for this q and I'm really excited to show you where we're going to be going in the future. As usual, guys, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.